cousin Georgina, um, my cousin David, another cousin Trish, and our niece Melita. Um, we've been on a long journey with this, um, and we come from a cultural point of view, and we feel that no one understands environment and what it means to protect it more than us, because it is our lifestyle, it is our identity, and it's how we've come thousands of years to be here where we are today. I understand, yes, we need better ways of finding energy, but we don't believe it's at the cost of our culture. We don't believe that's any benefit to us. Um, it's hard for us because we feel it in our spirit. We are connected to that country. And when you start playing with the country, it's a playing with our spirit. It affects our spirit and how we function as Indigenous people coming from that land. And I had a discussion last night where it was talking about healing country. Country will heal itself. You can't walk in and heal country. It knows what needs to be done and it will do it in its own time. So you can put up windmills or solar farms and then come back 20 years later and say that you're going to plant trees. That's not going to be the same as it was. You're not healing. You're putting a Band-Aid on it. You're putting a quick fix there. Um, and for us, we want to hold on to that because us in particular, we are fighting to pass our culture down to the next generation. And, and it's not only up home where we come from, but I've seen it down on the coast. I was driving around with my brother and I said, hey, what, can we go to that fish, fishing spot? They can't go there, they put a fence there. Same thing, farming, industrialisation, you know? So the more this comes, the more we lose. And we need that country to teach our children and keep culture going. Without that, we have nothing. Our future is pretty bleak. And it's, you know, that's where language comes from. Language comes from country. It's okay to read about our language in the book, but to truly understand language, you need to be on country and feel it and experience it. And that's how we've been taught for centuries, because we remember those particular things that that language relates to. So that's why it's very important for us. And another reason is our elders, when they're sick, they want to go home. They don't mean to a dwelling. They mean out on country. They want to heal their spirit. In healing their spirit, they're healing their whole being. So that's why country is important to us and why we don't... We understand that we need more energy, but not at the cost of our culture. We don't believe that it's worth it. That's why we stand here today, because of who we are, not what we need or what we want, but because of who we are inside. Hi, how are you going, folks? Well, what Georgina said was the basics of it all. That, you know, whatever energy is going to be made, how? Like she said, it's going to destroy us. Because, like, it's the land. We don't own the land, the land owns us. We just got to look after it. And that's the only thing that I've got to say anyway because I see in a different perspective from a lot of different other tribes that most of them live on country. Some of them, me and my family, we moved back onto country the last couple of days. And now we are waiting to be evicted from our settlement where we all grew up and when we were children. We are just waiting for a government to come and kick us off there. But they can't because it's tribal land. But don't matter it's tribal land, they still can come and take it. And that sort of upsets us all. And all the young fellows home and raven say, all they're going to do is fight about it. Fighting is not going to solve it. Talk about it. Thank you.